Without bacteria, we would not have beer or cheese. But nowadays, we even use bacteria to make batteries. So bacteria are very important for us. Now, my research is about bacteria. I look at bacteria that live in mud, specifically the black mud that you see in the picture with the boot. This black stuff is called sulfide. And the cable bacteria that I look at, they eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But they also breathe air, like you and I do. And because the sulfide is deeper in the, uh, in the mud, and the air is, of course, at the top, they need some form of transport to overspan this distance. What we do when we transport, we use our blood. But bacteria don't have any blood. So these cable bacteria came up with using electricity that they make out of the sulfide and then transport, transport through their bodies and then breathe at the top. If you look with me at this other picture, you see a cable bacterium through the microscope. So the, black, the line in the middle is cable bacterium. And then we see all these other black shapes around. These other black shapes are also bacteria. And these ones love the cable. Because what they do is they try to stay as close to it as possible. So they swarm around it, like a bee swarm, for example. And we think they do that because, of, uh, because the cable bacterium is basically an electric wire. Because what happens when we cut it with a laser, these forms get confused and lost, and they swim away towards the air. Now, this seems to be a very important event. And our theory is that the cable bacteria and these friends, they exchange electricity between them. And that's how they stay alive in a place where there is no oxygen. I am working with these, uh, with these interactions, and I'm trying to find out how they do that. How do they transport electricity between two species? And who they are, of course. Now, I think I've gotten very close to who they are and maybe even have some of them in a tiny jar. But let's take a step back and look why this is important for us because, ooh, bacteria, right? Now, when we make electricity at the source, it has to go through a wire to get to your home. There's a lot of loss in between before it gets to your home. These cable bacteria, they are extremely efficient at transporting electricity. So what if we could use them to make better electric wires? Now that's my hope, but let's take it even a step further because this connection between these bacteria, these living electric wires, the cable bacteria, and the swarming bacteria, so the ones that dump their electricity onto the cable bacteria, let's assume that they can generate electricity at your home and be a battery to power up your lamp, your fridge, uh, to keep your beer and your cheese cold, or even to power up this presentation so you can watch me <laughs> or someone else next year. Thank you so much for your attention.